Hello, today I'm going to show you how to set up your Minecraft server. Hold on, I have to turn on this. It's dark, I can't see my keyboard. Um, and then the next video will be showing you how to actually get it to have like things. So you'll go to ci. Dot bucket. Dot org. And you'll go and get this 1000. I think it's this one, right? Hmm. Hold on. I Google searched it when I did that. Um. Craft. Bucket. Um. Number 1000. Okay, so you'll go to here, build 1000, I think. Let it load. Build 1000. Um, it will be right here. You will download the snap.jar. But before you do that, you would go and create a new folder. Call it Minecraft server. I'm just going to call it new folder because I already have it up there. Um, craft bucket snapshot and you'll save it to the folder you'll hit save next thing to do is actually make a thing for 64 bit this is code for 64 bit not done downloading yet so go into your new folder where you saved it you would go into notepad And just copy that. Um, and then you paste it. File, save as, save it to that same folder, and name it run. Dot bat. Make sure you have it on all files. Hit save. Um, then you will hit this whole bunch of things will pop up don't worry about the warnings or anything it's got a prepare to spawn area it might take a while it depends on the computer my computer is not the fastest so it's got to take a while um, for some other people it might take longer it might take faster it depends how much RAM you have um, so it's got to finish spawn do the spawn area now it's got to prepare to nether spawn. No, that was the nether spawn it just did earlier, and now it's doing the natural world spawn. So this is the natural world spawn it's doing right now. Might take a while. 4852. Okay, so. This video will show you how to make the crack server so anyone can join even if they're not premium account. Now there would be another way to do that but I wouldn't be able to show you. So once it's done doing that you type in stop. And then you hit that. So now all this stuff appeared. Um, all you gotta worry about right now is the server thing right here. Um, for having a crack server, you will turn this to false. For a premium server, it would be true. Um, this is port foreign forwarding. You can do that yourself. It's quite easy. Um, I'm gonna show you how to do it through Hamachi. So you would go to your web brow browser. Um, and type in log me in Hamachi. Uh, yeah, I meant that. So, uh, there we go. Um, you will download this unmanaged. Um, then when it pops up, I don't even have it open. 
would have to go in, log me in, I might just start it up. Log in, oops, in Hamachi. So it will pop up at starting Hamachi. Now it will be offline. Click the big power button and it will say probing, synchronizing. Since I have it already connected to a network, it will say a whole bunch of other stuff that yours wouldn't. Now I'm going to turn these off. Um, I just turned it off for them. Go would um, create or join an existing network. You'll join your friends by type in their ID and their pass. Or you're creating a network, you would hit here. You would type in the network ID you wish for. That is the thing. And you will type in a passcode. Then you'll hit create. And it will naturally pop up as this as a green with the people that are listed on there um and i'm going to show this um red means you're not yet connected blue means it's not a good connection they have slow internet or you have slow internet green means it perfect it will work fine whatever um you'll double click this to turn it off but if you want to shut down the whole thing you'll click that once um if I were to start it up, you could chat. You could chat. Do not do anything besides chat. You can check on the internet speed. It's not very fast, as you see there. Um, so you could just do that. And then you'll power it down when you're not using it. Security reasons. Close it out. And I like to also go into my task manager. Look up here. And the process. It'll completely shut it down. So then you'll type in the IP. Mine would be. Or no. I need to check my IP. How nice of it. I even forget my IP. Uh, 192. 2. 181. So once you do that, you type that there. If you do port forwarding, um, you would hit start on your keyboard and R, type in CMD, then type in IP con config. Now a whole bunch of things will pop up. You'll probably either have less or more. What you're looking for is your, um, your where is it? Ah, oh, where is my... You will look for external IP, which is not listed. How nice. Mm, I think it updated. Yeah. Um, usually will be the number that saying external IP. If you have problems with that, just do it how much. It's a lot easier. Then you will port forward that. So, hold on. Then you can video search it. I just suggest Hamachi. It's a lot quicker and easier. Um. Okay. Then you would go into the. I'm going to save it. I don't care. Um. This is to make whitelist. This is this is server properties. Every once in a while, just hit Control A and delete. Then. Um. Save it with Control S. Uh, now, in your run, you'll go into edit. Now, this also shows you how much RAM you want to use somewhere, somewhere over the rainbow. Um, now you'll, you could adjust it. I have it already adjusted to 1 gig of RAM. Um, this is your option type of name and you type your best friend's name and they can do whatever they can like control the server basically Now you'll keep all this stuff The plugins you would get from the ci.bucket.orgs um, and then you'll search up plugins And this is your world thing um, You can put a different world in by just naming it worlds drag and drop World Nether, that's the Nether. Simple, simple, simple. Um, this is your banded IPs and players. 
now it's not very fancy of it so you'll just close it out this is my minecraft server the link will be in the description if you want to join it you'll have to go watch one of my server videos to join this is the most updated one that i have right now we're running on a different world for tnt just go nuts um, it should be switched out by tomorrow for regular usage and if you want to go back on that world we have to get all the people to agree then we can blow stuff up um, now you cannot go berserk and place like over a thousand blocks because my computer will not handle it please just small things at a time uh, so this is mine I have certain people ops now it's very simple I'm just gonna delete this I don't really need two servers um, you'll just open it up tell your friends through a mod you report forward and which whatever whatever you want you want to do I suggest that you do a much easier some people think it's a security threat it's not much of a security threat trust me so if you haven't seen my other videos again for FL Studio 10 and Sony Vegas 10 for free I still have to um, get the keychain back up for that um, I have to remember I job that See, that's the bad thing about Sony Vegas. You can t tell it to close, but it won't close. So, that's really it, guys. Um, I'll see you next time. Uh, I'm going to find something to do next time. I did Terraria, FL Studio 10, so Vegas 10, um, AVG maybe, Security. Yeah, just tell me guys, I'll figure out a way. Um, I already did Minecraft. Uh, if you need any more walkthroughs or anything, just tell me in the description, or tell me in the comments, and I'll figure out a way to do it. So, that's really it guys, bye.